Good morning. I'm Christopher Lloyd, and I'm standing here at the studios of Sirius XM Satellite Radio. It's a weekly morning, approximately 6 a.m., and this is the O.P. and Anthony Show. Never before has one radio show been so extreme. So vulgar. I'll fucking shove my face up a chick's ass in a second. Someone said we curse a lot, do we? I have no idea if we do. So flatulent. Who just farted? I did, but I didn't know it started. Like rotten eggs and sewage. Oh, wow, thank you. I can't believe that us sitting around like this is actually a radio show. This is not going to get any better than this. Are we on the air? Oh, we are? Oh, okay. Quite simply, the greatest show in the history of broadcasting. Oh, and every day, that's what I say. You guys having a good time or what? Rules are destroyed and conventions burn to the ground. Would you like to make some fucking With Opie, the destroyer. I would eat Petty White's ass. He's 90, right? Oh, it doesn't smell too bad. Anthony, the rage. Holy fuck, how much more fair you want it? Tired of these people. Up my ass all the time trying to get me to help. Fuck you. And Jim Norton. Lover of the transgender. Every time a transsexual walks in the room, party horn should go off. Like, Surprise! It's the Opie and Anthony show. Strap in, dicks. This one's gonna hurt. Double guns, bitch. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. And we're off. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome Come to on. the Opie and Anthony show. That's what they call it. It's the name they gave me. What's yeah. that from again? Uh, Fast Times. Oh, right, right, right. Jeff Spicoli, that's the name they gave me. Ah, uh, just came out of the uh, bathroom and I just can't stop. Yeah, I just wow. came out of the closet. Uh, just listen to the girls toss the ball around. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, they were on. Oh, they're mash already up. on. The mashups mash up. on and uh, morning mashup style in the bathroom. It was just like, okay. What were Kelly, we talking about? Kelly Clarkson's pregnant. Oh, or preggers as uh, and the guys got to make said. the guys got to make believe they give a fuck. Exactly. That's that why. That's why we thing. call them the girls. The, the gals. girls the throwing ladies. the ball around. Ladies just throwing it around, and then uh, was there a joke after that? Uh, no, it was like, uh, uh, you know, good for her. You go, girl. She looks like she's been pregnant for years. <laughs> I know. That's the joke. The excuse for her being fat. Right. Now. So finally, one. finally, she's got that excuse. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, chub. And then uh, I don't know. They said something like uh, Eminem, uh, perhaps getting back together with his wife Kim. Whoa. And, Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do tell. I, I, I hung Yuck. out by the urinal for an extra shake or two just to hear what they were going to say about it. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. I feel bad for those guys. I, I hope they're banking at least for <laughs> whoring themselves out that way. Oh, man. The fuck? I would love to know what they would like to talk about. Because they, they don't want to talk about that nonsense. Same thing here. Tits. Pussy, and then you go around the other side, the shit that comes out. I see. You know, all that good stuff that we like to carry on about. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wowie kazowie. Oh, man, you said something. I was going to say something. Oh, damn it. That's how it usually works. You said something, then I was going to say something, and now I and forgot what I, I was going to say. say. And then it's shit. 10 o'clock, and we did a show. That's right. It was about, <laughs> pop, it was about pop culture, Eminem. Oh, I don't know. Kelly Fox. Clarkson, Kelly Eminem, Clarkson, Preggers, Eminem. Kim Gives White back fuck. together again, the girls right. throwing it around. I don't oh. know. Oh. Um, <laughs> we, we were stupid enough to get off on the 36th floor, or we attempted to. You did. You and yes. Kenny? Yes. And then we now, we Kenny. were met with plastic. Oh, boy. A wall of plastic. I saw that. Because they're putting their rocks down in the lobby. Yes. All their uh, new rock tile work. Their slate. I think it's more of a slate. It's kind of a thick slate. It does look nice. It looks a little cheap, to be honest with you. Does it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I saw it. It looks same... a little cheap. And they they, yeah. they uh, cut some corners with their slate. Same shit they're going for uh, up on the 37th floor, right? right. Yeah. yeah, so then we had to go yeah, up to right. 37 and I did see the slate stairs. work, and uh, I guess that's what they're doing on this floor. I don't really see where it makes that much I, of a difference. Exactly. I got off on and the 37th. And I know it cost a fucking fortune to put in. 
I looked at the floor when I got off on the 37th, and I'm like, oh, this is what it's going to look like. And I just looked around like, oh, big, yeah. big uh, shit. And that's going to help the product. Why? How? Why? Mm -hmm. well, that's, yeah. that's where the money, they need the money, I guess. So we can't do our event because they need the money. For right. Did you talk to Scott? Oh, no, I didn't go down. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. There's, there's kind of no need to. I mean, what's there to say? I mean, he's not going to make a decision like that. Right. Based on anything I say. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. We can't get our agent in town to fucking work on it because I don't think we have an agent at this point. <laughs> it's 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 just crazy. He went rogue, I think. Oh, he went rogue years ago. <laughs> Not stupid. Comes in every once in a while to negotiate a little bit for us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, average at best deal. Yeah. And then he he goes away for a year or two. Yeah. And then uh, he actually calls every once in a while to say hi. I don't want I don't want my I agent don't. calling to say hi. Just check it in. How you doing? When that phone rings, it means you're you're dealing with something. <laughs> oh, I'm just calling to say hi. Oh, that's good because the whole fucking show is imploding. Thanks. Thanks for the hi ha, ha, <laughs> The how do you do? <laughs> hey, how you doing? I just wanted to call oh, and say hi. Doing good. <laughs> I don't take I don't even take high phone calls from my own family. I'm not going to take it from my agent. Phone calls. Hi. Hi. How are you? How's things? Well, you should know how things are if you listen to the actual show that you represent. Text me. Huh? That's how I feel about everybody. Just text, text me. When that fucking phone rings. Mm. I like adrenaline shoots through my body. It's like, why isn't somebody just texting me? Right. <laughs> Not a big phone call guy. No. Time Warner sucks a dick. Oh, it's terrible. My Let me God. tell you why. We've had problems with our cable system for a while now, and I finally said, all right, fuck, let's get a guy in here. Uh -huh. And then he comes rolling in to, to tell me that my, my cable boxes are really old. <laughs> but I know I had a guy in recent memory that was in there. Uh-huh. And I'm thinking to myself, shouldn't they be sending out some kind of literature or letter or phone call or text saying, hey, we our records are showing you have really old boxes, so we got to you know, have a guy come in and update you? You'd think that how, would be How nice. would I know that they're old and, th and that's why a lot of the shit was fucking up, including the DVR system? That's the same note that they got in Martha Stewart's channel. <laughs> old <laughs> <Yeah>. boxes. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> of course. Bourdain had a great fucking tweet about Martha. Martha. There's the Long Island accent for everybody. Martha. The Martha. Martha Stewart. Oh, and, uh, and Nancy Grace. Yeah. Best. What was the exact tweet? I want to fuck it up. Um, Anthony Bourdain is a rock star. They should star. combine something about they should combine Martha Stewart's pictures food of pictures. her food with uh, with uh, Nancy Grace's uh, hashtags. <laughs> Nancy Grace's. What the hell happened? What happened there? Oh, oh, oh there we oh, go. Oh, there's a new one. That's a new one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Brocken. If you hit the console, the mics go out. That's interesting. Little, it's broken. Oh, that's not Brocken. Eh. Oh, uh, so so yeah. so the the guy comes to say, oh wow, these boxes are really old. How the fuck? The, how the fuck do I? Should I know that? Yeah, you know, it's not like they're ten years old, five years old. They're maybe two years old, is what I'm getting at. And you're not up so, on the uh, technology of uh, of cable boxes. Who who is? So then yeah. this company where my cable bill is well over two hundred a month, and really? I'm not doing anything too crazy. I just got you know basic packages. Yeah. I'm not. I don't even have. I don't even have the sports packages to be honest with you. I'm, I'm paying over two hundred. See. So he's got boxes, and I go, oh, that's great. You're giving me new boxes. He goes, well, actually, no, these are old, too. Well, why? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. So, I mean, if you're going to someone's house or, in my case, an apartment, wouldn't you have the latest boxes for at least that dickhead, You'd meaning think. me? You'd think. So he, he replaces the, the, the cable boxes with other cable boxes that are old. Is it still rebooting? Probably. Oh, it's ridiculously slow. I can't ridiculously even slow. And That's I got to tell you, dude. FiOS. When you reboot your FiOS box, which right. you have to do once in a blue moon, as they say, right? Um, it's so fast. There's no reason that Time Warner cable should should take you upwards of ten minutes right. to reboot boot the fucking box. I had, I had With Time different... Warner cable, we give you old boxes. Um, you want an old box? <laughs> we got him in the truck. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, uh, Travis. But so so th th they work. 
Yeah. But because they are also old boxes, it's just a matter of time before oh. I have the exact same problem. Exactly. I've been told I had the same issue as oh. you when right. we when we were uh, we had some issue and we needed a new box. Right. They told me we only give new boxes to new customers. Why? Uh, what about the customers that have been with you forever? They're, they're a shit. terrible they fucking you. company. They're a terrible fucking company. They're, they're, the they're cutting corners company. and they, they, you know, it's going to be expensive to give everyone the new boxes. So they get, roll them out slowly. You get, so like, basically, nice guy, you can like, like my guy ended up being nice and, and he found someone who was in the area who, had, a, who had a new box on his, on his. Truck and, and my, you, dude, you can get fire my building. guy looks oh. fucking yeah. miserable. Dude, you should. Uh, you will cream nope. yourself if you get fired. I don't believe in fucking iPhones or a files. Oh my god, sorry. This is the best. Sorry. I love the fact the that I still best. get sorry. letters from Time Warner, and it's just nice just to throw them yeah. out and go. What a garbage company. Well, if you're gonna stay with uh, Time Warner, then you should tell them that you're leaving. Say, yeah, come in and rip this shit out. I'm going to Fios. And they'll be like, new box, new box, free service, six months. All right. They're, they'll give you everything. And then I, I threatened to leave when the whole yeah. CBS thing was going on. Uh -huh. right? I have $50 off my bill Aww. every month. Uh -huh. That's nice. Year. Yeah, see? And no intentional. And they'll bring you a new and, box, I bet. And here's the, the other thing that Time Warner does. Oh. That's why I love that we have a radio show. So you have an appointment, right? Yeah. So they call you four days out. Oh, then yeah. they call you three days out. Then they call you two days out, and you have to go through the, if you speak uh, English, yeah. push one. God. If you made an appointment, push two. If your appointment is from blah, blah to blah, blah, push one again. If you are going to keep this appointment, push. So it takes you a, a, a few fucking minutes, which yeah. is an eternity in that world, oh, obviously. Yeah. Three days out, two days out, one day out. Uh, oh, one day out, they call you two or three times. To make sure you're positive, and then day of, they're pretty much calling you every hour. Yeah. And it's not someone on the phone going, "Hi, we got a cable guy on the way." I'm just want to let you know, the you got to run through yeah. the automated fucking menu. And you know what happens it's if you don't pick up your phone? Wow. On on the day of, they they'll cancel, cancel you. They'll cancel the fucking. <laughs> Dude, I was in the bathroom and I missed a phone call. Oh and no! I, and I listened to the voicemail and right. said. You've not picked up your phone, but canceled your your appointment. I called him and I said, "What the fuck are you doing?" Oh my god! But, but how insecure are they? They, they, they have to they have oh to ask god. you a million times if they're you know if 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 they're still needed. That's when so they the could woman? cancel you, so they could have less they're, people they're working and right. send out right. When you right. came back, when you call back, did they just put you on? They ended up yeah sending somebody. Over, I think they're a terrible they're, company. They're the worst. They're the, they're the worst, worst company. Yeah, and I'm so happy to leave them. It's just so yeah, satisfying. Oh, Fios rules. It's so much better. However, you guys don't get the new relaunched New York One, which is now Time Warner Cable News. Ooh, <laughs> oh, boy. Relaunched what? Ugh. It's not New York One anymore. New York it's One Time is Warner the Cable worst News. fucking channel on TV. It's, it's horrendous. Worthless. That's, why, that's why it's gone. It's and it's horrendous. the default channel that go, yes. it goes to when uh, the box boots or you turn it back on. So it's the first thing you see usually when yeah. you turn on the TV. And you've got to figure out how to, you've got to go into like your settings to like make it, you <sighs> yeah. know, turn back Some on. Something else. The last channel you were on, because it, it'll it, default to just turning I, onto that channel. Because I have a uh, Time Warner cable at the uh, Compound uh, West, and I can't get off that New York one fast enough. It's so I good. usually like just hit the channel a few times before I even go to guide, because <laughs> I don't want to listen to New York one. Just automatically no. go to two, two. Yes, two. <laughs> okay, it's, what it is? They're monotone. They're ugly looking. Their clothes are old. They got their nothing. Their graphics suck. <laughs> You got some dude named Dean Meminger that just sits there awkwardly. Dean Meminger. <laughs> you don't like the guy who hosts like the morning show? Oh God, that, like, no! They're horrendous. <laughs> read, read the papers bit. That oh does. God! Uh, I don't think great. I've ever seen that. To he be honest, literally with you. reads the papers. Sounds great. <laughs> so end. I don't watch. Uh, whoever it. does the morning show on Time Warner Cable great. News. I love a good paper reading. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. I fuck. I told uh, Cablevision to go fuck themselves years ago and went to FiOS and it was <laughs> fucking. Great. I had a problem last night with the uh, on-demand thing you recommended. What happened? It was just a couple of times it stalled, uh -oh. like just stuttered, yeah. and then uh, I had to pause, then stop it and restart it, and then it was fine. It, it, yeah. It's like that never happens with Fios. Yeah, yeah. And it was fine in five minutes. All right, so yeah, we were watching a dealt with that shit documentary yesterday. What documentary were you watching? That goddamn Blackfish, it's called, about the killer whales right. at uh, SeaWorld. 
and they focused on that Tilikum one. Right. That uh, we did a bit on years ago. Yeah, didn't yeah. he get fucked or something? Uh, that, well, a, some guy put his penis in the blowhole. I don't right? know if that was that yeah. or if the guy jumped in and the, and the thing just killed him. The guy, yeah, it looks no, there now was a, like the there, guy. But there was a story that came out yeah. that he. Thank you, Sam. He yeah. put his yep. penis in the fucking blowhole because I remember the name of the the whale, uh, the, yeah. the, the killer whale, because like I said, the name always matches up with the story. It did rip his genitals off, so I don't know if that yeah, was. Uh, it, and they were saying yeah, that he, had he probably yeah. was dressed when he went in, and the whale just ripped his clothes off, chewed him up, fucking, and then and then just was swimming around with the thing on its back, like he put it on its back on his own back and sw swam around. Wanted to parade it around. A yeah, bit. yeah, like look what don't, I did. Don't fuck with me, humans. This killer whale killed three fucking people. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, three people injured others, and just like. And they just kept like like a, a Catholic priest. They would just send it off to another park. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was insane. Wow. And, and and the way they showed how they got it when it was a baby, oh. they just herded these these uh, killer whales and their babies into these little coves, right? Uh, with using explosives and boats and airplanes and shit, and then just separate it from the mother. And, well, and hold on, there was the one part where they're fucking they're chasing the whales in a, in a, yeah, bo yeah. In a boat right and this is how smart whales are they sensed that they were trying to get the babies so the three of the adults led the boats on a fucking goose chase the other way and then the mothers and the babies swam like uh, yeah, kind of went, went off on this other direction and so the boats followed the other whales they outsmarted the boats yeah but helicopters Figured saw them when they uh, or planes saw yep. them when they came up for air so then of course the boats backed up and went and got them and then they got that burly fisherman telling the story and he's fucking like crying yeah how guilty he felt about he it he felt so guilty as they're loading the f the, the, the baby into this ah oh, uh, Jesus in, in, into this container and the mother is just like crying Crying and 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 the other uh, whales are popping out of the water, like all making noises and right. talking to each other. And then he realizes he's like, "Oh my god, these, this is like a little community that's grieving, We're kidnapping a baby." He said, "said I felt like I was kidnapping a baby." Humans and, deserve everything they're going to get in the end. Oh, we it was stink. It yeah. was so bad. And they I never thought stink. everyone thinks SeaWorld is pretty harmless. You yeah. know, you just kind of you go down there, the whales jump around, but you assume that they're treated better than they would be treated in the ocean. You they're know not? that? No, they're supposed to be out in the fucking ocean swimming around having like but, uh, thousands of miles of fucking area to. Well, stupid me. I thought in. all those killer whales and those exhibits, whatever, were ones they kind of saved. And, and, right, right. And no, it was like, no. look, we know if we put him back out yeah. of the ocean, he's going to be fucked. So, nope. you know, so yeah, that's, that's why we have thinks. him. But we do treat him very nice in between shows yeah. and this and that. But and they, they were kidnapped. They, all of them were kidnapped. Yeah, they, they try to disgusting. portray it as this family unit also. And it's like, no, they have their families when they're in the wild. They're pods, you know, they swim around in. And they have these distinct languages and and uh, movements that right. are indicative of these separate pods. And when you put them all together, it would be like if they just threw us in a small, tiny room with someone from, like, Japan, someone from Russia, uh, someone from uh, another, like, all these countries where you can't communicate you with could, each other, different cultures that no one understands. You could say black people. Well, you, well of course, Africans. <laughs> you uh, could say it. I know you wanted to say it. No, I, as soon I as just, you go with Japan, I'm like, come on. Japan. <laughs> Japan. Uh, yeah, Japan. No, and, and, and that, and cultures that you don't understand and whatnot. Well, when they took the baby from, there was a mother that had a baby in captivity, oh, yeah. and then they were swimming together and doing, the baby was getting a little rambunctious. So yeah. they, took, they took the baby to another... Yeah, just took him to another park, water park, separated it. And they said the mother just w was sitting there making these really weird grieving noises, and they brought in an yeah. expert to hear the noises. And, it's lonely! Right. And that's yeah. what it was. They said that the mother was trying to look for the baby. It's just fucking... SeaWorld is a despicable, oh. despicable place. And, they, and they, they show how management is over there, and, and they got an excuse for everything, and uh, and then the trainers who, you know, all, some of these people applied for a job is like, you know, the guy that sweeps up SeaWorld and ends yeah. up a fucking trainer really? for the killer whales. And, um, you know, they I think they authentically appreciated yeah. the animals and wanted to do the right thing. Uh, but they were towing the company line with all the bullshit that they have to uh, run through and say that, that are all lies about 
the health and welfare of these animals. And they're saying that now. Like, I'm embarrassed that I said yeah, that. Like, yeah. I towed that company line. I can't believe I yeah, said that. Yeah, they were showing clips of uh, one of these women going like, and the whales uh, love doing these behaviors. And she's like, I can't even watch this. It's embarrassing. Right. So, uh, what, so yeah. what's going to happen? Uh, it looks like nothing. Hope, <laughs> gonna, now that there's an awareness. Yeah, that's hopefully they'll out. close eventually. Uh, eventually they'll close. Because you watch the people in the audience. A lot of money. You can't get mad at them because they don't know. They're just having fun. I mean, I never knew. Right. Most of the trainers yeah. go there. And then they, like one guy said he stayed because he, I felt worried about this whale. I was worried. I yeah. felt sorry for Tillicom. I didn't want to leave him. I, it's a despicable fucking thing. And yeah. uh, it, it's really, it's, it's torture of these animals. They're torturing these fucking I guarantee you, smart animals. A whole bunch of people want to call us out like, oh, you bunch of pussies. Probably, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the top of the food chain. They're here to entertain yeah. us. I was at a, a seal show. The, the Riverhead has an aquarium. This yeah. summer went there, and there was a little fucking seal show. The space that this seal had to work in was, I'm looking at the studio. Can't be smaller than this studio. Not much, no. <laughs> not much bigger than this was his yeah. his, uh, his 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 uh, his whole world, his stage, and well, <laughs> and his whole world because yeah. I don't know where the fucking thing went after it was on stage. Yeah, and there was three, at least three, maybe four seals in this tiny little place, and you know that he's coming out of the fucking thing and he's on his flippers and all that shit. Oh, and I I remember thinking to myself, I I'm not into this shit anymore, no. man. I don't no. like this at all. It, it just yeah. it just feels extremely cruel now. I, I, I tweeted last night, I, I don't care about, like, a goat in a petting zoo. Fuck him. Take him by his dumb horns and flop him on the ground. Who gives no a need, shit about a no dumb goat? No need to goat. hate the goat. I, <laughs> I hate sure the goat. sure their noises are annoying. No, no Jimmy, no, I hate the goat. Loving the whale doesn't by proxy make you have to hate the goat. <laughs> <You can laughs> I hate just it. just love one right. more. Uh, but there is a genuine consciousness in these uh, whales, like, in their eyes and... I'm sure um, with most animals. It's just amazing. No, Mark. those lifeless, dumb goat eyes. They <laughs> stare at you as they chew. Their jaw just goes sideways with their dumb, people like lifeless <laughs> food eyes. Like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> number one meat in the world is uh, goat. Doesn't like a good goat fucking sandwich. Never had. I haven't either. <laughs> uh, I went to the Bronx Zoo recently as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, Yankee you, Stadium. Well, this is the type of stuff you do with a little kid. And, uh,. <laughs> They do a much better job because they finally have given animals, finally, it's been a while, I've I got to give them credit. They give the animals a lot of space now. Yeah. Because what happened with zoos, because we're all fat, fucking lazy Americans, especially, that we want everything close and we don't want to walk too far to see a too fucking far giraffe. To walk. Yeah. You would have to go to Africa to see the giraffe. So they bring these animals, these exotic, amazing animals to you, and it's not good enough that you, you have to walk around to see them. They, that's why they were always in those tiny little cages and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That was for our pleasure. The company line on uh, SeaWorld was that, um, you know, you, you get these wonderful animals, and uh, they should be seen by people and uh, and and marveled at. And, uh, and, and then you get the, right. the trainers that said, no. You know, they're, they're not supposed to be seen in that environment, in these giant tanks and stuff. So, if you want to see them, uh, and you're lucky enough, you could take a, a fucking cruise where where they're they're feeding or, or, or migrating and, and watch them in their natural you said, you said something there that's wrong, though. Giant, uh, what did you say, cages or, or oh, tanks, tanks yeah. or whatever? Uh, they're not giant, compar no, no, comparatively compar speaking. So it's, it's where they have at to the very be. least, SeaWorld should try to figure out how they can make those things a lot fucking bigger. Maybe that would help a little bit. I don't know. It's like Unless a bathtub. It's, it's like spending your life oh, in a yeah, bathtub. Oh, yeah. It's tiny to them. Their environment Probably. is at least hundreds of miles like that's on a day that's like walking around your living room and going to the bathroom and 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 your kitchen to them that's hundreds of miles and right. then if you want to just like go from your house to the store like it to them that's thousands of miles they have so much space in in their natural environment that you can't replicate that in some kind of, kind of tank right it just can't uh, be done the other thing about uh the bronx it was a uh, final thought so the old cages that oh, they right. used to they used use to put them in cages i yeah. mean it was one after another like you could oh. see a, a lion a monkey a, what panda whatever the fuck oh, Jesus. and now they're just they just grow plants in there Oh, really? If you, if you go to the Bronx Zoo, go check out the old... Plants in cages? 
That's terrible. I know those poor uh, things. Uh, they like to uh, rumble uh, around, go uh, to the yes. store. But it's kind of like that urban exploring shit. They they've left the old cages there, and they're being overgrown. But I think they're trying to you know make it like it's important plants or trees or something. Yeah. Fucking cool to look at. I don't know. I think people care too. I don't think people are indifferent to it. Like when when a whale gets no. beach or or fucking beaches right. itself. Yeah. People are sad about that, and they run down. And they try to help. Like I think if people know what's happening, mo seventy five or eighty percent of people would be disgusted by it and not want yeah. to support it. Because they live in water, you have this separation from them, and I think that that is over the years made this uh, where we feel we could just kind of put them in a tank and watch them. But you realize how that they're even smarter than dogs, and we love our little dumb pets and yeah. shit like that. And and they they have that same emotion in their eyes and uh, you know, the same thought process, loyalties and right. feelings and shit. Yeah, it's it was pretty fucking sad. Let's say hi to Jack in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, PA. I like the way... What's up, Jack? Jack. How's it going? Hey, I just started listening to your show a couple weeks ago when you guys came on. And I was wondering, did you guys uh, ever see that one document where you guys are talking about the killer whales? The that they, had a, hmm. they had a show on there about killer whales against a great white shark, and they were showing how smart the whales are when they hunt. That They went out hunting, um, like... Uh, you have manta rays and stuff like that, how they turn them upside down, and they go numb. And they showed where they where these there's two uh, female killer whales that go out off the coast of San Francisco, which used to be a huge great white shark area, where that's where they went. Now that these great white sharks don't come around, there's two females that go there specifically to eat shark liver. That's all they do. It's amazing. Like you guys made that comment about how whales, you think they're smarter than dogs, it's if you ever get a chance, just you know, watch it on Netflix or whatever. I think it's on there. It's amazing how smart. Yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty fucking smart. They they showed last yeah. night also on that documentary with the the seal, uh, the sea lion that was on this little ice float, right? <laughs> and and there were a bunch of killer whales around it, and they're poking their head up, looking at the sea lion, and like fucking taking little chunks off of the ice mm -hmm. flow, and it's getting smaller and smaller yeah. for the sea lion. And then they had this coordinated move that they did, yeah. and they realized that you know they tried it with two killer whales. They they line up next each other and they swim really fast toward the ice flow on the surface and then duck right under the ice flow mm -hmm. at the last minute and this giant wave that they make washes on top of the ice flow knocks and, and knocks the uh the sea lion off the ice well, flow two, into the water two didn't do it at first two didn't do it so and i'm watching this going they had to communicate to each other and go all right look two ain't cutting it you come with us will will three of us do it yeah. and three didn't quite work so they got four and the four of them are completely in unison. And this is out in the wild. No human fucking is doing little things with whistles and fucking hand signals. And they swam right next to each other, ducked down, and a giant wave just came out and washed them off. And some woman, you could tell they were video, uh, videotaping the whole thing. And some woman is like, oh, no, oh, no. And what did the guy say? He goes, if you can't watch the bull f fight. fight. Yeah. If you can't take it, don't watch the bull fight. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, this is how they eat. This is nature, lady. <laughs> it really made me very, very, uh, mm. made me very sad. And they said, by the way, there's been no... Documented attacks of of killer whales on people in the wild. Yeah, None. They've never heard. They're very people gentle. Out in the wild. They don't yeah. fuck with you when you're out there. But yeah. it's when they're when they're caged up like that. They probably just get vindictive. They get and angry and sick of it. Right. They get this personality they of something that's probably. been locked up. Right. Depressed, frustrated, mad, irritable. And they they treat their kind of like us in this small studio. Right. Yeah. They, <laughs> when they <laughs> cage us up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think uh, this is coming from, yeah. you idiots down the hall? <laughs> they cage us up. <laughs> right. Hey, you guys, you guys oh. put on a great show. I'm glad of I course. got a hold. Oh, thank, thank you, you sir. Oh, oh, no, Jack from well, Pittsburgh. Does SeaWorld have like, a Twitter? Fuck them. I don't know if they do. I imagine they might. Right? Oh, they're, I wonder I what they're, they're saying they about this uh, documentary. Yeah. They don't like it, and I think I think the, the big the big thing that's coming out of it is Peter doesn't want the fucking Shamu uh, float uh, right. balloon to be in the Thanksgiving Day parade, which now. I thought, all right, whatever. I I I don't like like these symbolic protests. I I, I guess if it raises awareness, but I I'd, I'd rather have people watch this uh, documentary than than go, hey, where'd the whale go for the balloon? I know what whale. they're thinking is though, and it's like I'm the same way with them. Like they annoy me on some level, and then there's a part of me that really likes them and really likes like Earth Liberation Front. Because uh, they're fucking, they don't hurt people, but they're just violent towards these, like enough, yeah, they, they've tried right. the nice route, it doesn't work, 
And then they just kind of, and I know it's probably shitty of me to say, but I like the fucking fact that they that they use a little bit of violence against these yeah. companies. You know what I, I, I think they should do? Uh, take the take the whale balloon out, replace it with Shaq balloon. Shaq balloon. <laughs> Shaq balloon. It's more believable. Oh. The whale balloon, I mean. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.